so you can apply dots and dashes to any path or stroke that you want. No matter if you create it with the pen tool, the line tool or simply create a shape or anything else. For this example I will just be using the ellipse tool to draw a circle. Now just to make it easier to see what we are doing, I will bump up the stroke width to 40 points. So here we have a solid stroke and we can easily turn this into dashes or dots by having our path selected. Go to this stroke menu right here and check this checkbox right here that says dashed line. Even though this only says dashed line, it is also where we create our dotted line. So let's start off with the dashed line, because in Illustrator we have the options to create our own customized dashed line. And we will do this by typing into these input fields right here, where we can customize how long we want our dashes and gaps to be. So when hovering over one of these input fields, you can either type in the value directly, or you can simply scroll your mouse wheel. So let's create a dash that is 40 points and then a gap that is also 40 points. So this is a simple dashed line where all the dashes and the gaps are the same length. But if we go further, we can actually say that the second dash should be longer than the first dash. So let's create this one, 60 points. And we can also make the second gap longer. So now we have a dash that is 40, a gap that is 40, a dash that is 60 and a gap that is 60. And we can see this right here, 40, 40, 60, 60. And then it repeats right here. And of course, the same applies to the last two fields right here. Okay, so how do we create our dotted line? And for our dotted line, we need to select the round cap. And if we want our dots and gaps to be the same length, we only need the first two input fields right here. So just delete these two. And as we can tell right now, when we selected the round cap, the length of the dashes and gaps are not correct anymore. And that is because Illustrator adds half a circle to the end of the dash. And because our stroke width is 40 points, half a circle will be 20 points. This means that half a circle or 20 points are added to this side of the dash and also to the other side of the dash, totaling to the stroke width of 40 points. You don't actually need to know all this because the fix is easy. Because if you use round cap to get the correct gap size, you simply type in the gap size you want plus one stroke width, which in this case is 40 plus 40. So type in 80 points. So now even though the gap says 80 points, the gap is actually only 40 points. And the opposite is true for the dash. So the stroke width is 40 points and the dash is also 40 points long. So now it should be a round circle, but it isn't as you can see right here. That is because in the dash input field, we need to subtract one stroke width, which means that in this case, the dash should be zero points. And here we have a dotted line. So now let me show you an issue you might run into when using dashed or dotted lines. So for this, let's create a rectangle. And I will just delete the circle. So here we have a rectangle with our dotted stroke, but as you can tell, the corners doesn't look right. Here we have a dot in the corner, but here we don't, and we will probably like our stroke to be more uniform. So to fix this, we simply select our stroke, go to the stroke menu again, and here we have these two options. And the first option is preserve exact dash and gap length, which means that the dash is, is exactly 40 points and the gaps are exactly 40 points as well. But this option aligns dashes to corners and path ends, adjusting lengths to fit. This means that it will slightly adjust the lengths so that the corners fit. Look at this. You can hardly tell that the gaps are adjusted, but the stroke just looks so much better right now. 